Okay, we are going to look at the differences between the Kirby and the Dyson Animal for how you clean, um, I guess, clean the rollers and uh, how easy or difficult it is to actually get at the roller to clean the hair off. In our house, it's a problem. We have a long-haired dog. It's a golden retriever. And um, myself, got medium-length hair, and it all ends up, it's on, there, it's on the roller here now, wrapped around the roller. And we're probably going to find the same thing there on the Kirby here in a minute. I'm going to show you the Dyson first. I've already got it angled back. You'll need... I have a penny. You can use probably a nickel, any kind of coin, screwdriver with a with a flat head. Pop it in a little slot. Turn it all the way to the left. Turn this part. And you can kind of shimmy the roller out. And then you can go ahead and you can cut the hair off, clean the hair off. Whatever, we're not gonna waste a lot of time doing that right now and slide it back in there put this back on turn it back into place and lock it back down and you're done for the Dyson and you're ready to roll and if you had to clear a clog um, just sim get at it a similar way, but you can pop the head off by pushing that down. Now for the Kirby, there's a couple steps involved in this one. First thing you need to do is lift this up. Then, make sure you do this in the right order, flip this open, spin this. This releases the belt which the Dyson doesn't have by the way. I love that. I can't tell you how many times I would come. Um, I'd be vacuuming and before before I realized it and it, when it was already too late it smelled like like burning rubber and it's this awful smell that doesn't go away for a week and my husband would come oh. down the stairs, what's that smell? Well, that sounds familiar. Um, and we'd realize it was a vacuum and we had to change the belt. But you, you just can't get that smell out of the house for an eternity. So I love, love, love not having a belt. The height adjuster, and you can't take this off as easy unless you raise it up. And then this thing pops off. Okay, and that's pretty gross. Now, I'm not gonna do this because it, I always hurt my hands, and I always ask my husband to do it, and then I can never get it back together. But basically, you turn these, that way, actually unlock that way and that way, pop this metal piece off. Then there's a way somehow, and again I can never get it to pop out where the roller will come out. And then you can deal with it. Try and put it back in, which I could never do. Close this, latch it back down. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm, I've got a Dyson now and I don't have to. So, But you can see how much more difficult it is and, and the thought that went into the Dyson as compared to the thought that went into this. And I know that uh, Kirby has a newer model. I imagine they could have changed the way it works, but when you look at it, it pretty much looks the same. And I, I don't think that they're beltless. So you're, you're still going to be dealing with that issue on a Kirby and the way this head comes off. And the Kirby has other functions, and there's a reason this head was designed to come off like this because it also has a shampooer attachment, which I'll get into later, but it's, oh, it's so much more difficult, and I'm very, very pleased with how easy it is to clear the hair off off the roller on the Dyson. I can be here alone and vacuuming and not have to wait for my husband to come home to get the hair off. Yeah. So, that's, there you have it. You've got my happy Walter, and you've got you know, I always need two hands for this. Lock this back down. Kirby. And there's a chance that I didn't get the belt on right, and I don't think I did because it... I didn't feel it catch, maybe. Let's see. You gotta make sure that, it, that this stick slides between the belt.
So I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs>